Hi everybody, Quarter Jet Power here. Um, we're going to put this, uh, this is a how to install your divorce choke onto your Quarter Jet. How to install all the pieces, the, the choke rod, the actuator that goes on the bottom, the divorce choke in this case, and the fast idle cam. Fast idle cam is going to slide onto the choke uh, like so. We set that aside. Now we're going to put the actuator in place into the body. Gonna turn the body on the side so we can see the actuator through the hole. We're going to we're going to pin that in place while we're holding this, and then we're going to going to put the rod through the choke flap hole up here so now we see that it's operating smooth now we're going to open the throttle blades just slightly we're going to go ahead and set it more on its side so the throttle blades are open so that the fast idle cam will slide on now we're going to leave the choke actuator in, in place sitting there so now we can slide the divorce choke over the actuator into the hole and make sure that it's functioning. See all the choke components are moving. Now we'll put the screw on to hold it. This uh, customer has a manual choke cable. That's why it's attached to this. this uh, they requested that left in place. So now the choke is in place, you see everything's moving. Fast idle cam should move freely. Now the throttle blades are closed. We want to raise the choke, make sure the fast idle cam's engaging, We're keeping it on fast idle. When we open the throttle, fast idle cam should drop back in place like it does. We'll put a clip on. This particular one has a clip. clip on to hold the hold the rod up top now we're going to install the pull off rod and the pull off this one is a clip style as well so we can slide slide the plastic pull off in place and now we're going to put the and we're going to slide the rod in place. Some of these have a clip. Some of them, some of them go through with a bend in the end of the rod to hold it in place. It's the same principle. Now we're going to slide the clip on to hold that in place. Well, maybe the clip wants to fly off. These little things, the hairpin clips, have a mind of their own, and once they fly off, they're gone. Now we're going to put the vacuum hose onto the pull-off. We're going to cut that to length. And now everything's in place for the choke. We want to verify that everything operates correctly. Once the choke is closed, we're going to verify by pulling on the pull-off as in idle, you're going to have full vacuum. This, this piece right here with a bend in the rod, that should pull the choke flap open about a quarter of an inch. This one does not. So we're going to bend. We're going to bend the adjuster here just slightly. So when the choke's fully closed and it's open, we're going to open up just a little bit more. Let me adjust that a little bit more in a little bit. But that's how you put all the components in place. 
for the divorce choke on the quarter jet. Thank you all, quarterjetpower.com. Get all your parts, kits, services, everything you need for a quarter jet. We have it, quarterjetpower.com. Thank you all.